Simulation is teaching through technology where we make you believe what you're doing is real. As part of the program, nurse anesthesia students will be exposed to simulation, and this is all curriculum driven. So they'll receive the lecture, and then they're gonna practice it in the sim lab before they do it in the clinical arena. This is what we use to bridge the gap between their didactic and their clinical experiences. Simulation for us comes in two forms, static and dynamic. Static simulators are also task trainers. It's one piece of anatomy that we can do the same procedure on over and over and over again. For most of the technical skills of a CRNA, we have a task trainer for it. Dynamic simulation is where we bring the entire lab to life. There's smells involved, there's, there's sounds that you would typically hear in the OR. So some of our faculty will play the roles of surgeons, circulators, scrub techs, whatever we need for that time, where the student will participate as the anesthetist. The sim lab is about 3,000 square feet, about $3 million worth of equipment, real OR tables, anesthesia machines, instruments, electrocautery, everything is real except for the patient. So once the students begin the program, in the first two semesters they'll be exposed to simulation. Then as they matriculate through, we get into the third semester, we're talking about airway management. Now we're going to get into airway trainers, laryngoscopes, intubation tubes, and things like that. It progresses on to vascular access, where we're putting in central lines, use of ultrasound, neuraxial anesthesia, regional anesthesia, and then before they graduate, a full-on crisis management where it's like an episode of Grey's Anatomy and you're the star. The Sim Lab's always available to the students, so if they want to practice things above and beyond what is in the program, we have a mechanism for that, and the students do make use of the lab quite a lot. So you want the students to be able to practice those skills that will degrade over time. Laryngoscopy, when I'm looking at your vocal cords, that's something you want to practice a lot. Ultrasound, you only get better by doing it a lot. So simulation brings together technology and education in a way that when you see the student get it, it means something. 